So my friend's needing some roaches, some dubia roaches from me. So I told him that I will clean my roaches because usually when I, because you see there's a lot of poop, right? And the thing is there are a lot of roaches in the poop. And usually because I already have a lot of roaches, right? <coughs> when I clean the bottom, the fresh, which is also known as the poop, I will, whatever roaches there are inside it, I'll just call them. But since my friend needs roaches, I asked him if, if he would be fine if I were to uh, just give him including with all the poop. Because as you can see over here, there are roaches inside. And he agreed. He was like, okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be scooping the poop. <laughs> and he's going to be handpicking the roaches from the poop. And I mean... <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> um, he agreed to do that. So I thought instead of calling the roaches, right? Since he agreed to do that, why not just give it to him? So that's what we're going to be doing. You see, I have actually quite a bit of roaches. So look at that. That's what I mean. They're all pretty much in the... A substrate or their poop their poop is pretty much their substrate so here's what I'm gonna be doing basically right I'm just gonna scoop this that's a lot of poop dude <laughs> you're gonna have fun separating them see there are a lot of roaches in there so that's what he's gonna be doing he's going to slowly can pick and choose these roaches or when he wants to feed his tarantulas he will probably take the roaches from the bin but yeah that's that's how it is because i'm actually too lazy to separate them there's actually a way that you can separate them you get buckets put holes at the bottom that's big enough for the poop to go through but not big enough for the roaches to go through and then you sift the roaches out so yeah, that is one way to do it, but I'm kind of lazy. So this is what we're going to be doing. Since he agreed, we'll let him. Because he really is in need of roaches. I mean, these are in not just poop. They're including the, what do you call that? The food that I feed them. Hopefully this container is big enough for all of the poop. I usually clean their poop once a month. But this has already been more than a month, so yep, it's quite a bit of poop. <laughs> All right, bear with me, guys. I'm just filming this whole thing because why not? I'm gonna be putting it on extras anyway, so you'll see. Yeah, I really hope that this is <laughs> big enough because I'm not even halfway yet. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure why, but I think my friend's Dubia colony died off. So there's at least, there's going to be thousands of roaches just in the poop itself. Probably like half of them from the egg crates are in the poop. So yeah, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> How am I going to, this is really difficult because I'm doing it with one hand. So... How am I going to do this? Put this here. These ones I will... I'm going to have to rearrange all of the 8 crates again after this. Oh boy. That's a lot of poop. That's one freshly molted dubia over there. Ah, there we go. There's the good stuff. So pretty much whatever roaches are over there is going to him. So yeah, I'm supposed to give him turkey and roaches too because this is how I clean my turks as well. But I think I will do my turks another day for him because my turks are that's a dead roach because my turks are still doing okay. Dubias, they poop. I mean, yeah, as you can see, they're bigger, so they poop way, way more and way quicker as well. Okay.
Okay, so you guys may not think, right, that roaches poop a lot. Look at that. That is, <laughs> it's a crazy amount. Like I said, it's been a while since I have get off my hand, since I have cleaned them. Get off my hand, man. So this is gonna be, oh man, dude, you're gonna have, if you're watching this, you're gonna have so much of roaches. I'm not even joking. It's really a lot for you. So yeah, now I'm giving my friend, right? I did mention earlier that before I give my friend, before I mean before, I mean this is the first time I'm giving my friend, but before this, I usually call them. So can you imagine how many roaches have been called? It's insane. But I've never run out of roaches for my tarantulas regardless, so that's fine. Look at the amount of poop. Oh my gosh. Some nice females for you. I used to sell dubia roaches, but uh, not anymore. Okay. This side is pretty much done. I don't like fully clean the poop, just leave some behind because the babies, they actually eat the poop. So, yep. All right, now is the, the final part, the final bits, which is over here. Yep, I think this container is way big enough. Yep, just the this part and we should be done. So that's pretty much how I clean my roaches. Not the most efficient way, I guess, but it is what it is. Now, my friend can start a new colony of his own. Get off my, my hand, my arm, gosh. Yeah, he can start his own colony again. <laughs> I don't know why his roaches are gone, but yeah. He can start his new colony again. So there we go, guys. I am sending. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll. I think I'll title this video "Sending Roach Poop to My Friend" <laughs> or "Giving My Friend Roach Poop." Oh boy! Look at this. That right there is insane. <laughs> All right, so. Now I'm gonna have to pretty much just reposition all of the egg crates and we should be good to go. All right, just this row. Sorry if this whole video is a, a very shaky video, but we are done, pretty much. I'm gonna have to give them some get away, give them some water, and pretty much we are done. So before this, the eight crates were pretty much until up here, and now they are down. So awesome. 